Welcome everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of our Full Face Friday series presented by CompetitiveCyclist.com. Uh, we would like to thank Competitive Cyclist for helping us make these videos possible and extending a 15% discount code to you guys, our viewers. So subscribe to the channel and then remember Lone Wolf 15 for any applicable items at Competitive Cyclist. Now let's get into the 100% Aircraft 2 helmet. This is a $400 fully carbon fiber shelled helmet, something that you'll notice beyond the beautiful looks and the carbon weave of this helmet um, are the ventilation ports. There's quite a bit of ventilation in this thing. The chin bar is nice and open. Over the brow, you've got some intake vents. Out back, you have some exhaust vents, which are nicely placed. Overall, a pretty solid, fairly well ventilated helmet, right? For, for a downhill, full face rated um, MTB lid. So first up, let's take a look at the inside of the helmet and the safety features inside. 100% uh, is using their Smart Shock Rotational Protective System. There are 14 points inside that helmet. There are uh, these little blue rubber grommets, donuts, whatever you want to call them, I guess. But uh, they are clipped into the helmet as well as the liner, and they essentially are designed to offer uh, a bit of rotational impact protection, uh, you know, similar to what MIPS uh, and some other technologies are out there doing. But yeah, there are 14 points strategically placed inside this helmet that are designed to create a little bit of slip and movement to help decelerate uh, your head and brain sloshing around in the event of, uh, of an impact. Moving on from that, you've got a very comfortable uh, antimicrobial padding on the inside. You've got uh, emergency eject padding here and the cheek pads. So if you are uh, in a serious accident and your helmet needs to be removed without risk of further injury, um, these pads do clip out pretty nicely. Um, it is worth noting that there, the number of contact points, I guess, for these are only uh, two little clips inside. So uh, in our the first helmet we got, one of those tabs broke and um, the cheek pads aren't quite as secure as say like on the Fox. Uh, when you put that helmet on, you know, those things are not moving. Um, they, they don't feel like they're gonna snap or break. Whereas these are a little bit more flimsy. Um, and you know, if one of those pins goes bad, every time you put that helmet on and off, you run the risk of those pulling out. But uh, luckily that hasn't happened on the second helmet we've got, um, but just something worth noting, uh, be careful there. Moving in to uh, some of the other safety features of the helmet, 100% uses a dual density EPS foam. It is injection molded with polycarbonate and uh, there are two size specific molds for the small, medium and large, extra large shells. Further sizing customization is done via um, internal pad adjustment, uh, thinner cheek pads, thicker cheek pads, etc. across the back all can kind of work to build out or streamline this helmet to fit you as you'd like. 100% is also using a patent pending chin bar design. As you can see, it is very well ventilated, very open. One of the downsides to it being so open is the chance of debris and grit, gunk, mud, etc., flying up and getting in your mouth, which uh, I do believe happened a couple of times in some of the wetter uh, end of the season months uh, up at the bike park. So something worth noting if you're regularly riding kind of wet or uh, I don't know, in, in conditions where a lot of stuff's getting flung up. It's a pretty well ventilated helmet overall. It is comfortable. It is definitely light. It has a standard D-ring closure system with a uh, little lock there to ensure it stays shut. Once the helmet is on, it has a pretty snug and secure fit. It's fairly roomy at the top of the chin bar. The bottom also has just enough room without sticking out too far. We will go ahead and put our goggles on so you can see how those work. Obviously, they are 100% goggles, so they should integrate very well as they do, but we have tried uh, a number of other brands of goggles and they all work quite well. They fit, they slide into place nicely, hold well. Uh, something that's great is the field of view in this helmet. I am definitely a fan of how open the top is. 
it does feel like it's a little bit high, like from a safety perspective, like my forehead could get hit. I know goggles are there, but it does feel like this helmet is kind of up near my hairline and I wish it was a touch a little bit lower, I guess. Not much, but something worth noting is that it, it does seem like it has a pretty wide opening, which is again, great for field of view, uh, but just something I notice as it's on compared to other helmets. Another thing that I like about this helmet is that it has a multi-point adjustable visor. So you can change how that pitch is depending on if you know, you're getting some end of the day laps at the bike park and you're going right into the sun, you can drop that and boom, got sun protection. A lot of the other helmets that we have been testing and riding do not have adjustable visors. And um, you know, while we understand, I guess, some of the reasons behind it, it's really nice to have. Safety, right? Uh, it's the second most important reason why we buy a helmet after looks. Uh, from a safety standpoint, I am studying and learning more. I'm very passionate about helmet safety and tech. Virginia Tech seems to be the place to send helmets for independent third-party analysis. Um, they give this very handy, easy to understand star rating. And it's something that I'm really hoping that we can all pressure more brands to do, um, to send more helmets, especially full face helmets out to Virginia Tech or another similar, but uniform place where we can all digest information when we're making these decisions. When you're buying a helmet, all you know is it's got a sticker and it passed. It could have just barely passed by reducing that energy to a, a, a point where they give it the sticker, or it could greatly reduce that, that transmitted energy to your brain and make it an A plus helmet. And we don't know that as consumers. And I would really like for us to all be able to tell these brands, we want that information. We wanna know how safe a helmet is. Uh, if you guys are with me on that, leave a comment down below and in all of our other helmet videos in this Full Face Friday feature. And we'll see if we can't uh, shake things up and get these guys to start sending more helmets out for testing so we can go to that Virginia Tech website, uh, which they are not paying us by the way to say this, but um, we can all, select helmets we're interested in and see how much energy is reduced and how, what sort of a star rating they're getting. The fit is secure, the helmet is dialed. You know, when it's on the head, it, it feels nice. It's, it's a good helmet all around without having any empirical data or numbers. You know, I, I just can't really speak to the safety of the helmet or how it's gonna do for you um, beyond, you know, rumors and what people say and, and you know, anecdotal evidence. So um, that being said, awesome looking helmet very comfortable helmet um, it's relatively light it is quite breathable for a full face downhill helmet um, did i mention that it's beautiful i mean look at that carbon weave it's it's absolutely insane i really like this helmet for all the reasons i i said um, i would just love to know where exactly it lands in the safety spectrum compared to some of our other helmets Thank you very much for watching. We greatly appreciate the support. Um, if you guys could make sure you subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment with any questions, any input you have. If you own this helmet or uh, it's on your list, let us know. And uh, once again, be sure to use Loam Wolf 15 at competitivecyclist.com for 15% off. Thank you guys again for the support and we hope to see you out on the trails.